All right, guys, welcome back to Rikers Animal World, and today uh, we are out in the field for the second time. Um, first time I was out here, I did not make a video because, of course, there was literally nothing. It was a cold day. It was sunny. I thought I'd try my chance to see if I can find any wasps, but I didn't. Today we have a larger chance. It's still breezy, which is not the greatest, but it, and it is still a little it's like in the 50s it's it is i think literally exactly 52 degrees i want to say and that's really cutting it close for wasps but today we're just going to look for anything we can find if we can find you know a paper wasp or bees or anything like that we're going to catch them and i'm actually going to try to break my record for most honeybees caught so let's go for it here's one honeybee oh yeah here's one honeybee It's spring, guys. Honeybees are hard workers. They're out even when it's cold. And she is working. And we're gonna catch her. So, grab my thing here. See what, see how healthy she, oh, I just spooked her. That's a problem for me. All right, here she is. She's over here. And we got her. Just like that. Perfect. Slide this under. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. There we go. There we go. All right. Well, we got a honeybee. Not our first honeybee of the year, I just was catching some off the air. She does look pretty healthy. Alright, well. I'll come back to you guys in a minute. Guys, I don't know what it is, but some raptor, some bird of prey just landed in this tree over here and I'm gonna get a look at this I don't know what it is but I heard it and we're gonna see how close we can get to it from here it looks like a red-tailed hawk but I'm gonna turn my camera around and we're gonna film it and we're gonna see what it is and it might be a turkey vulture but it looks too small for a turkey vulture let's go okay so I'm just filming this whole time just in case it starts to flap its wings and fly away there it is right there See if I can get closer without spooking it. It's right there. Yeah, it looks like a red tailed hawk. Oh. That's her. I just hear that it's it's after something there's something in that bush over there I just heard it and that's why it was sitting up there all right I don't know what it was but I heard it. I keep hearing it too let's get closer okay I'm filming this live because I don't want to miss anything I don't know what it is but there's something in here But this for wasp season. Where'd it go? There was something in here. I swear there was. There it is. I just saw it. Yep, there it is, see it? See it, guys? That is a squirrel. It was after a squirrel. And 
is, I believe it is injured because it's not fleeing the scene. And it, oh, there he is. That would be awesome if we could see a live hunt and kill from Red Tail Hawk. Yep, so he was here, and he ran up here, and she has a nest up there. Let me get a view on it. Uh, it just makes sense. See that, like, clump of stuff up there? A bunch of sticks up there and stuff. We got a better view for you guys. Um, right up here, perfect. Right where the sun peaks out there, that's her nest, all those sticks. That's where she lives, and I, I'm just gonna call her she for now. And that red-tailed hawk was after her. And already six minutes in, we got a nice, nice video for you guys. I'll let you know if that red-tailed hawk comes back and he tries to get her. Yeah. Yeah, always keep your eye out for red-tailed hawks. Wherever they land, they could be looking at their prey. And so I kind of interrupted his hunt, but he was close to getting that squirrel. He probably will today. He knows where she. He knows where she is. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, back to uh, looking for wasps and bees. Um, I'm going to look around and kind of catch some stuff. I'm going to see how many bees I can catch in one container, and I will be sure to come back to you guys in very shortly. So, see ya. And all glory to God there for showing us that really cool animal scene i'm telling you whenever we make these videos god reveals to me some cool wildlife and really cool instances whenever i film then i am by myself and he does that for me to post on my channel so all the glory goes to him for showing me showing that to me so let's look for some bees all right guys we have our bee cluster so to speak um here it is we have our western honeybees we're at the Rikers Animal World table right now. And we have our Western honeybees in their container. And it's definitely, definitely a lot of them. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I believe. I could have miscounted. But that is just off my bat. And off the dandelion flowers, I just caught one, caught another, caught another in the same container. And... Something interesting actually guys, they are actually trying to see the sunlight. I feel like they're actually trying to come to the sunlight there. Which is very interesting. They also they always go to the top of the container, so those are some western honeybees. And as you can notice, you can tell on the honeybees is their legs are yellow. That is all the pollen they have collected as they go from flower to flower. And these are why these guys are so beneficial because these guys spread all this pollen around and it creates new flowers and that's how um, they are made. These guys are pollen spreaders and so they help get pollen around to other plants which make a new seed and it spreads and these guys have a very important role. Fun fact, a lot of people think honeybees are native to North America. There was not one honeybee in the United States of America or North America, as that matter of fact, um, until the Europeans brought it over here. And that's why these are called European or Western honeybees. I call them Western honeybees. Um, so these guys aren't actually native. A lot of people are like, we need to protect our native honeybees. They are not native. The only native bees we have here are bumblebees and carpenter bees, and there are many species of them. But I think it's safe to let these guys go now because they have a job to do.
to collect honey for the um, to, uh, honey to collect pollen for the colony. They have a job to do, so I'll let them. I'll leave them to their job. On this release here. This has been a longer video, but that's what wasp season is. All right, we'll let these guys go now. Let me get to the top. Then we shall open. Wait for them to get to the top because I want to be able to film them all. Hopefully none, none come back and sting me. So I'll kind of move out of the their path here. I won't be point blank. Be free. And this one doesn't seem to want to come up. There we go. And that's a fact that honeybees aren't aggressive. And even when I let them go after their frustration, they just fly away. They want nothing to do with me. And that's what my mission is here in Rikers Animal World. We want to show you that most insects, wasps, bees, and other things like that, um, of that family, don't want to harm you. They're not here to harm you. They are they're here to do their job and to just be left alone. And my thing with wasps and bees is that if you do not put physical pressure on the bee or wasp or invade its colony or invade its colony, you will not get stung. Another occasion is if it gets caught in your clothing, which is in that, which applies to physical pressure because it's caught in there and it doesn't know what to do and so it stings and that's instinctive and they're they're not mean animals and they are out to do their job and be left alone and they're more afraid of you than you are of them so um don't be afraid of them leave them to their business if you have a nest on your house or nest nearby your house try to leave it alone try to let it thrive because they do matter and they are very important so thank you guys for watching i appreciate it like the video subscribe and i'll see you guys again on another episode of rikers animal world see you guys